Hey, this is Knife Standards. Today I'm going to be doing a quick unboxing and first impressions of the EMP EDC Nimble. But first, please follow me at Knife Standards. You can follow me on Instagram. And don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel for a lot more knife content and weekly knife reviews. All right, cool. Let's get this guy unboxed. Let's get into it. So um, if you haven't heard of EMP EDC, uh, it's a it's basically one guy. It's a guy named John, and he uh, runs the company, designs everything. Um, super cool guy. So I, I had a chance to uh, message back and forth with him. We talked about this knife in particular. Let's get this opened up real quick. Okay, EMP EDC. That is the name of his company. Nimble. That is the model. Titanium frame lock, blade steel M390. Date of birth, June, okay, serial number, very cool, 30, first production, and then his signature. So we got some stickers. Awesome, so I had a chance to um, message back and forth about this knife, uh, even before the first production came out, and he's just a super cool guy. So he's really responsive and friendly, and um, uh, yeah, I mean, it, it, it really uh, made me feel good about, you know, before before the company was known and before the Nimble came out, made me feel good about uh, pre-ordering this guy. So let's get this unwrapped. Just a nice, you know, little plastic <laughs> plastic wrapper. I gotta get off. Whew. This thing is this thing is solid. Wow. All right, let's get that box. And by the way, the box is. Pretty damn nice. Little magnet clothes on it. All right, so titanium frame lock. It is, this is solid. I wonder if there's milling on the inside. Yeah, there, yeah, there is, okay. And you see the uh, serial number, which I am a big fan of. If there's gonna be billboarding, I want it to be the number of the knife. Very cool. So, it's, it's, this is a serious knife. It, it's small. You can see it fits in the palm of my hand, but there's definitely some heft to it. Now, this is supposed to be like the most fidget-friendly <laughs> knife. Um, there's a few different ways to open it. So let's go ahead and test out just the, uh, the flipper in the back. Damn, okay. So that's, <laughs> that's, that's pretty good. That, that is really smooth, snappy, uh, flipping action and dial, dialed in detent. Um, if you guys are wondering, these are um, OEM, they're, they're made, uh, produced by QSP. Um, and I'm sure when you think of QSP, you think of um, the Penguin, you know, first and foremost, because that's their, you know, most well known model. Let's see if we can do a finger, middle finger flick. Damn. Okay, action is outstanding um but qsp originally um i think they did oeming for other designers and that's kind of how they got into it uh, before they started doing in-house designs so this is um produced by qsp and i'm really impressed so far we got very cool kind of blurple um pocket clip anodized same thing with the hardware Got the EMP EDC logo, and the scales are titanium. It it's, looks like a stone wash, kind of a light stone wash finish. So fingerprints are not an issue. Very cool. So we got the regular flipper. Damn, damn, super snappy. Close, ridiculously smooth, almost drop shut. We got the middle finger flick. Pretty good again yeah okay middle finger flick excellent what else ah oh, we got the well we can do the slow roll can we yeah okay slow roll works too and let's try the just the thumb Ooh. yeah so thumb thumb flick too um so far we have the back flipper regular flipper middle finger flick slow roll thumb flick now for uh oh the, the treacherous uh let's see centering 
Yeah, right on there. All right, let's try the, the front flip. Front flip is good. I was kind of worried about the front flip um, just because of how small the tab is. But yeah, so it's definitely not your, um, ooh, and the finger toil. This is definitely not your um, beginner front flipper by, by any means. If you are just getting into front flippers, I would for sure go Pena. Um, yeah, I would just start with Pena because those are really super comfortable, super intuitive. This is a little bit, kind of have to get around it and you risk pressing on the frame lock. So yeah, it is easy to, to, to miss, kind of misfire the front flip. Let's go ahead and check the grind. Ooh. Really sweet grinds by QSP. And what a damn good design by, by John, by EMP EDC. First in-house design. Finger choil feels great. Can really choke up. I like how there's jimping all the way along here. So if you wanna hold it back, you can, and you still get jimping. If you move it forward, jimping up top. Pretty sweet. It is M390, as we said in the beginning. Titanium frame lock. Pretty damn smooth action right out of the box. And a bunch of ways to deploy this knife. Do we need all the ways? No. <laughs> is it fun to have all the ways? Yes. Um, yeah, this thing is just this thing is sweet. Now they are coming out with um, a second run of these. They already did the pre-orders. So you can, um, I'm sure they'll have, I'm sure they'll have some, um, once the pre-orders are all filled and they all arrive, I'm sure there'll be a few uh, for grabs on, on his website. Yeah, the, the regular flipper is outstanding. And also, this is really, really comfortable and chamfered on the, uh, that kind of, you know, Spidey hole or middle middle finger flick hole. We need to come up with a good name. Anyone have a good name for that? Aside from Spidey hole. <laughs> um, anyway, so I'm pretty impressed. First impressions, really solid knife. Excellent details, excellent materials, super snappy, dialed detent. I am looking forward to carrying this guy and seeing what it's all about. Look at the grind, what the hell? So nice. And not only am I impressed with um, John and EMP EDC, but really impressed with QSP. Doing a damn good job OEMing this guy. All right, cool. So um, I will get this guy in pocket and I will be back hopefully pretty soon with a full review. Thanks for watching guys. This has been Knife Standards. Catch you guys later.